Ah, guys, Table Mountain. More importantly, behind us at the boat launch, Beaver Mines Lake. We are here. I've got my third, fourth cousin from Ontario. She's out visiting her mom. You guys heard her name in the multi-species video, which I'll put a link to below. Her name is Becca. We're gonna call her Becky because she hates it. And my son has stopped at Calgary for his second jab and took some time off of his Cross Canada adventure. So before he goes back on the road, we're taking out the real blessing, Beaver Mines Lake. We're we'll fishing for rainbow trout today and hopefully just having a good day. It's supposed to get a little rough, it's supposed to get windy. We've seen some lightning, but for the most part, guys, stay tuned, let's catch some fish. <laughs> okay, got the youngster, got the eighth cousin 40 times removed. And uh, everybody's getting off the lake because the storm is coming in, but Typical to my stupid channel, we're going out. So <laughs> the thunder roll. So let's uh, let's let's see what happens here. But we're gonna be going for rainbow trout today. We're gonna be just using typical Panther Martins and Len Thompson spoons, spinners, and whatnot. And for the record, super shallow uh, boat launch here. So. Now there's weeds on the trailer. Yeah, there's weeds on the trailer. The truck was almost front wheels in the water before it uh, finally got the boat off. So if a storm rolls in, it's gonna be pretty interesting to try to get the boat on. <laughs> Number two, as usual for me in this channel, I forgot to put gas, I forgot to put gas. I forgot to put gas in the boat. I have no idea how much I have left. <laughs> so we're going to find that out as well. So we've decided to go up lake. So at least if we run out of gas, the wind is pushing us back where we want to go. And we could just kind of paddle to steer. So And up lake is where the storm is coming. Yeah, and, and, and up lake is <laughs> where the storm is. So... We have our life jackets, we have our paddles. Oh, okay. We have the beginning of our adventure. We will come back to you guys when we got a fish on. Fish with Paul B. Oh, guys, I say it all the time. Right here. Boop. This one, the subscribe. That's the subscribe button. But at the end of the video, again, you guys are used to it. Looks like that. That's my ugly mug. You click on that, you'll be subscribed. And of course, guys, comment below. Have you been to Beaver Mines Lake? Have you been with someone stupid like me who goes out in a storm? What's your favorite trout to fish for? What's your favorite lure to use? Comment below. Tell me if there's a place you want me to go and we'll check it out. But for now, see you when we got a fish on. Okay, literally we're five minutes into the fisher trip. Zylan snagged and uh, we ran out of gas. So I'm gonna drop anchor because I want to fish, but uh, what's going on here? Wind's pushing us. I can't even. I know. It's so. There we go. Oh, you lost, lost it. it. It's a long ass drive. All right, we're in like we're in like 15 feet of water. The weeds are right up to the surface. Um, oh, you got look at you got a fish. Oh, I oh, oh he's still there. Boy. He's still there. There we go. Hijacked, as she said. Hijacked. We are out of gas. We are trying to row to shore. Winds pushed us the wrong way. Uh, we, got, we got a beach about that way we're trying to get to and we're actually just going to get more gas so we can fish longer in the storm. That's what we're doing. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, we'll see. Probably too windy to hear me, but look at those clouds. Yeah, beautiful wind storm. Yeah. We have got to row. Switch okay. sides so I can keep battling. Switch sides. All right. Yeah. Woo. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> we're switching it up. Good old back injury makes me a wuss. These guys are rowing. What we're trying to do is hit that beach over there. We're trying not to get washed down the lake. I will hop in my truck about 15 minutes down the road. I'm going to fill up a couple jerry cans and come back out. And these guys are going to stick around just shore fish. So I don't know if I should call this fishing with Paul B or just misadventures with Paul B. That's been my life lately. So there he goes. Off to get gas. <laughs> Going to get gas. Oh, 
I never filled up after the Father's Day weekend. Got all the way out here. I think somebody stole my gas because I always have two full jerry cans and they're empty. So oh, I'm gonna rip back into Beaver Mines, the little town there, and uh, see if I can't get some gas. Right now, Becky and uh, Zylan, they're sitting down on the boat. We managed to get into a nice little protected cove and the waves aren't beating up the boat too bad on the rocks. So let's go get some gas. <laughs> Let's get back to fishing. <laughs> the weather has changed for the better. Boy, Shoyton. Uh. Oh, we got gas now. We're boating with gas. <laughs> Always helps. And cloudy skies are gone. Yeah, look at this. The storm went away. Maybe we were just supposed to go get that gas. This is awesome. Yeah, it is. My son just went to take the truck back. We're gonna go pick him up. We're gonna get back up lake. And fish. We got we plenty catch of gas. Catch some fish. Catch some fish. Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go fishing. Well, it ain't a giant, but I am the first with the most, and that is a nice little rainbow. We'll definitely be letting them go. So. Come here, Scrappy. Pass players. Bye, buddy. Fish with Paul B, baby. Hey, guys. All right, you got one here. Let a little line out. You're going to. There you go. All right, second fish. He's a little guy too. That's okay. I know, I know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you, you guys get away from my bobber. <laughs> get off my bobber. Hey. Hey. Go ahead. Hey! Just young, trying to figure out what they can eat, eh? Hey, you can't ask for a better backdrop, though. Oh. Look at that. Table Mountain. Hmm? Well, we ain't having any luck, but man, it is nice. I just got a float behind me. Pink worm. We got these goslings trying to figure out what they're supposed to be doing. Alright, so... Basically, we've been spin casting. We've been... Use of spoons and spinners and trolling and we've got the two small fish in the boat but I've started jigging. I'm getting bites but I'm just not landing them. They're hitting hard but I'm just not hooking them. Uh, I went with a so like a mouse tail setup. Like I said every 10 minutes or so I'm getting a real hard hit but it's just not catching them. <laughs> well it was an adventure. It took us longer to get here than we intended. The drive was beautiful. The little town of Beaver Mines, it's gorgeous. We caught two small, beautiful, chromy rainbows. Lots of bites, just soft bites, weren't setting the hook. I'll be back here. I want to figure this place out. <sighs> I mean the backdrop, the backdrop, the backdrop. Come on. Guys, see out on the lake? Look at that. What? What? Yeah. That's a subscribe button. If you could hit that, I would appreciate it. And if you've been to this lake, Beaver Mines Lake in Alberta, if you've been here, you got any tips for me, leave them in the comments below. If you guys want to reach out to me, I sometimes miss my YouTube comments. Head over to my Instagram channel. That's fishgod11. And yes, fishgod11 because someone hacked my account. Um, but head over here and uh, subscribe to my Instagram. It's a great place where we can direct message each other, especially if you want to get together and go fishing. Then I just had a great day with my cousin Becca, who we call Becky, and uh, my son before he leaves on his East Coast Cross Canada adventure. And again, if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Keep official with Paul B, baby. See you on the next one. Beaver Mines, Alberta. Stormy day, beautiful day. End of the day. Thank you for watching. When you're fishing with Paul B. When you're fishing with Paul B. When you're fishing with Paul B.